Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about how to salvage a multicam edit where one of the cameras didn't record. As with any production, problems can manifest themselves as bad media cards, bad mic cables, or in our particular case, forgetting to actually press record on our B camera. So I have two methods for dealing with this. And if you want to follow along with me, there's a link in the description where you can download the library containing the clips I'll be working with. Also, this video is from a brand new Multicam tutorial I just released on our website. There's a link below with a coupon code if you're interested. The event contains both the A and B camera angles of an intro to a commercial I created for social media to promote a local filmmaking class I was teaching. If you play each of them, they're very similar in terms of delivery, but they're not quite the same. The B camera angle is the second take, because the first take I did did not get recorded. In this lesson, I'm going to show you two ways to address these problems and salvage this multicam shoot. One of the best ways to deal with this is to create two angles from the same angle. Then scale the second angle so you can cut between the original angle and the scaled angle. In order to do this without losing resolution, your original clip should be recorded in 4K. Selecting the A camera angle and opening the info inspector reveals this clip's resolution is 3840 by 2160. As a general rule, I always shoot in 4K, even if I know I'll be delivering in HD, because all those extra pixels will allow me to reframe my shots and post without a loss in image quality. In the browser, select the A camera and the zoom audio clip and create a new multicam clip. Make sure you're using the custom settings window and set the video format to 1080p HD and leave the angle option set to automatic. Make sure use audio for synchronization is checked. Then name the clip Steve Intro and press return. Open the multicam clip into the angle editor. Disable the audio monitoring for angle one and enable it for the audio only angle. Move the play into around 46 seconds and play back from there to check sync. Good video is about telling your story. It's what you're passionate about. Thousands of videos are posted online every day, but only a fraction of them get watched beyond the first minute. My name is Steve Martin, and I help people create better videos. Before copying the angle to create a second angle, it's a good idea to make any needed corrections to the original angle first. In the viewer, the image looks flat due to the log profile we shot with on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And also, a boom mic appears at the top of the frame we'll need to crop out. Start by selecting the angle. Right click in the viewer and choose Crop. Then click the Crop button. Drag one of the upper crop handles until the mic is just outside the crop boundary. Then click Done. With the video angle selected, open the Info Inspector and set the metadata view to Extended. Using the Camera LUT menu, choose Blackmagic Design Film 4K. Even with a LUT applied, the contrast could use some further adjustment. Press Command-6 to call up the color board. In the Exposure pane, reduce the midtones to minus 60 and boost the highlights by 15%. Jump into the Saturation pane and increase the global saturation to 40. To create another angle, right-click on the caret next to Angle 1 and choose Add Angle from the menu. Name the angle Close-Up. While we're here, let's rename angle 1 Master. In order to copy the angle into the empty angle container, make sure snapping is enabled on the toolbar and that you're using the position tool, not the selection tool. Hold down the option key and drag the angle into the angle below it, making sure that the yellow alignment guides appear at the head and tail of the copied clip. These guides and the zero value tooltip give you feedback that the copied angle is in perfect sync alignment with the angle above it. Now release your mouse. Next, set the close-up angle as the monitoring angle and reveal the video inspector. Set the scale all parameter to 170%. You can scale a 4K clip in an HD timeline up to 200% without losing image resolution. Use the X and Y hot scrubbers to reframe the subject so that you end up with a pleasing close-up. Let's quickly check sync by playing the angles. Good video is about telling your story. It's what you're passionate about. Thousands of videos are posted online every day, but only a fraction of them get watched beyond the first minute. Great. In the browser, locate the multicam clip 
and locate the frame just before I begin speaking. Being old school, I still tend to use the J, K, and L keys to locate the edit point, as I find I can rock back and forth using these keys to better isolate the first word. Good video is... Good video... Press I to mark the end point. Mark the out point after I finish speaking. And the most important ingredient is story. Right click on the clip and create a new project. Name it Film Class Promo and make sure your settings match mine. They should match because Final Cut Pro is looking at the clip properties of the multicam clip we're about to place into it. Press Return. In the Angle Viewer, enable Audio Only Switching, then Option click the Zoom Audio Angle. Enable video only switching, then option click the master angle. We're now set up to cut between the master and the close up while the audio comes from the zoom angle. I'm going to perform the edit using the one and two keys on the accountant side of my keyboard. Good video is about telling your story, it's what you're passionate about. Thousands of videos are posted online every day, but only a fraction of them get watched beyond the first minute. My name is Steve Martin, and I help people create better videos. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating a video that will connect with your audience. And the most important ingredient is story. Now you give it a go. Before we end this lesson, there's one more technique I want to show you for salvaging a multicam shoot gone wrong. Locate the B camera in the browser and play it back. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating videos that will connect with your audience. Even though this clip is from another take, it doesn't hurt that I'm reading from a teleprompter because my delivery cadence will be fairly consistent with the other takes. The best way to sync this clip with the Take One Master is to use markers. Use the J, K, and L keys or the skimmer to locate the frame where I say the word Prescott. My one-day workshop delivered right here in Prescott. P's and B's make excellent sync points because they are phonemes. That is, when pronounced, they make a distinct sound in our language. You can also tell when they're spoken because the speaker's lips come together to form the sound. Locate the frame where my lips come together to form the letter P in Prescott. Then press M to set a marker on this frame. In the timeline, locate this frame. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott. Yeah, right here in Prescott. For me, this frame is at 1507. Press M to set a marker. Go back to the clip in the browser and mark an endpoint just before I say, in my one day workshop, in my one day workshop, and the out point after I say, you'll learn the core ingredients. Right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating the Make sure snapping is enabled on the toolbar, then press Shift 2 to enable a video only edit. We don't want to use any of the audio from this take. Now drag the selection above the primary storyline until the markers align. You'll know they're aligned when you see a vertical yellow line extending through the center of each marker. Release your mouse and play back the connected B camera. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating. If you're observant, you'll notice that the first part of the clip is noticeably out of sync with the master shot. However, things appear to be in sync once the playhead hits the marker. Move the playhead to the marker, then select the end point and press Shift X to trim the clip to the playhead. Play again. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating a video that will connect with your audience. The edit works for two reasons. First, my delivery cadence after the word Prescott aligns with the master shot delivery, so it looks like they're in sync. Second, this clip benefits from the fact that we kept the shot's duration to a minimum to sell our editing sleight of hand. Let's do a quick shot match to get these angles to look like they belong together. Select the connected B camera, then from the Enhancements menu, choose Match Color. Skim anywhere over the master shot, then click on a frame to create a preview in the viewer. In this instance, I think Final Cut Pro did an excellent job of matching the contrast and color. And by the way, our B camera was shot on a Sony A7S III. Click Apply Match and play back the edit to see the final result. In my one-day workshop, delivered right here in Prescott, Arizona, you'll learn the core ingredients that go into creating a video that will connect with your audience. So, do you have any production nightmares you've experienced? Let us know in the comments so that I can sleep better at night. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>